Hi and welcome to another TechMinds video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at receiving images from space. Now, the way that we do this is by decoding an SSTV transmission that is being broadcast by the International Space Station as it passes overhead. Now, everyone can do this. There is no license required to receive the transmission from the ISS. Now, the only prerequisites is that you have the appropriate hardware and software to decode the transmissions. Now there are a few different ways in which you can receive the signal and decode it. For example, it is even possible to use a handheld radio receiver close to a mobile device, which is running some SSTV decoding software, which is able to decode the SSTV transmissions from the ISS. Now in this video, the hardware that I'm going to be using is an RSP Duo from SDR Play, which is connected to a dual band collinear antenna in my garden. Now the software that I will be using will be SDR Uno as the receiving software, and I'll also be using MMSSTV to decode the transmission to a picture. Now between SDR Uno and MMSSTV, I use an application called VB Audio, which routes the audio output from SDR Uno to the audio input of MMSSTV. This is a virtual audio cable, and if you require further information on this, please refer to some of my older videos. Now as the ISS travels around the globe, you are going to want to find out its current location and try and predict when its next pass is going to be close enough to your location so you can receive the transmission. Now the ISS doesn't broadcast SSTV all the time, it's normally on special predefined events. So the first thing is to find the next ISS pass, I use a website called amsat.org.uk and I use their tracking page just by entering in my Maidenhead locator square. You can also go ahead and enter in your latitude and longitude if required. What will happen then is it will show you the prediction of the next few passes over your area. Now I will leave a link to the AMSAT website down in the description of this video. I will also include a link to the ARISS webpage where they announce upcoming SSTV events. Now this current event where I recorded this transmission started on the 8th of February 2019 and it runs through to the 10th of February 2019. So if you're an early viewer of this video, you can most likely grab a chance at receiving the SSTV broadcast yourself. If not, then check the ARISS website for the next scheduled event. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I managed to receive and decode. Now at the beginning of the transmission, I didn't have the bandwidth set quite right, so I quickly rectified that and you could hear that the signal quality was really good. Also, I've left the entire transmission in this video with no 
audio edited or spoken over. So if you want to, you can replay that transmission and decode it yourself using an application like MMSS TV yourself. Now this is the picture, this is the first picture. I believe this is uh, one of eight that's possible that you can receive in this current event. I managed to capture two images. Now this is the first one which I captured, which is not bad quality. It's actually pretty good. Apart from the first few lines at the top, you can see some noise there. And that's probably most likely because I didn't have the bandwidth set correctly. So let's go ahead and look at the next transmission that I received. And again, I'm going to leave the entire transmission in the video with unedited audio. So if you want to go ahead, load up MMSSTV if you're watching this on a computer and route the audio directly to it and you should be decoding at the same time as, as I am in the video. Now you might have noticed as that was being received, it was slightly on a slant. Now there is a feature within the software, which I'm just going through now, where you can actually rectify it and resync the picture. So let's take a look at the quality of this image and wow, it actually looks pretty good. It's not a bad representation of the image that was originally transmitted from the ISS as it was flowing over. You may have heard also towards the end that the signal was actually getting a bit weak. You could hear some white noise coming through on the signal, but it didn't seem to make too much difference to the decoding of this picture. Now, like I said before, they are currently transmitting eight different images. These are the only two that I managed to get in the past. You have a window of about 10 minutes that's because as it travels from one horizon to the other is roughly 10 minutes. Now the frequency is obviously 145.800 and the mode is FM and the bandwidth, I think it was around 10 kilohertz. So there you go guys, that is me receiving images from space from the ISS. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you managed to capture anything, leave a link down in the comments below of your images. I'll also leave a link to a website where you can actually upload your images for the world to see. Until the next video guys, take care and we'll see you in the next one.